I didn't actually ever decide to play music. It kind of decided for me at three or four years old, and it's just been my life path. Being an independent artist, I'm always working. Especially if it's not on music, I'm making money some other way. My whole project is called Choice. The music, I have full control. I feel like a stranger. Need a little time to focus on me. When you hear something that sort of speaks to something more visceral in you, music has the power to do that. In 2012, 2013, it was kind of the heyday of, of Bandcamp, of SoundCloud. I, I would have to look at the logs, but I imagine we were some of the top users of those services. Forrest and I bonded over our shared love of that wave of creators that broke out at that time. Unfortunately, that all kind of came to an end. The majors kind of took over who could get discovered in these places. Every dollar that gets spent on music today, 12 cents of that makes it to an artist. There's this long chain of intermediaries between the creator and your fans. Why would you want to share music to line the pockets of folks who have nothing to do with your creation? Decentralized web tech and, and Web3 more generally give us the opportunity to rewrite some of these rules in a way that's more equitable. We craft our whole life to perfect our art, master our craft. We should have the right to own that till the day we die and be able to not have someone else dictate to us the possession of that. Audius is a decentralized audio hosting streaming protocol that exists to give artists the ability to share, monetize, and distribute their music. From day one, we have established a very deep sense of, of artistic pride in what we build. A fan favorite is if you're listening to a track, you can press V and pull up the visualizer. It's almost like an old school throwback to the Windows 95 days or Windows XP days. Audius is an open source project, which means that anyone and everyone can build on top of the code base and consume it and use it however they would like. Decentralized web technologies like IPFS have enabled us to create a community-owned and community-operated service. So artists can own their own means of distribution. We can't change the rules of this system without the community's buy-in. No one can. Us as creators have just as much control as the people who created the platform, and so we get to decide what it's going to be. In addition to being the home to all the world's independent music, we'd also like to be the home of the API that the entire world can use so that UI and UX can be innovated upon by people anywhere in the world running this Audius code base. It's really the world as a whole that is acting as the hosting provider for Audius. A lot of artists, they've almost written off stream these days. As an up-and-coming artist, it's extremely difficult to get discovered on those platforms. That's really the lightning in a bottle that we're trying to capture with Audios. Going hand in hand with that is bringing human curation to the forefront. What matters much more is how do you find the most interesting content that speaks to you. Fans and creators literally decide who's trending. It's purely democratic. I think now we're in a really exciting time because we can continue whatever we start with our fans and also truly make a living, truly get the money that we should make. What we're witnessing is the rise of the independent artist. Everyone is created equal from a code perspective. Web3 and decentralized tech really mean that everyone has a platform. It's all about freedom, and that's why we're here working on this.